I find it just kind of amazing that the conference took place in like the VIP box of a football stadium. Like I have never had a meeting in a place like this before. It's a bit like camp for engineers for two and a half days. I'm Janet Hunziker and I direct the Granger Foundation Frontiers of Engineering program at the National Academy of Engineering. Frontiers of Engineering is a program that is a series of meetings of two and a half days that cover all engineering disciplines and we invite people from academia, from industry and from the federal labs. So it's a very eclectic group uh, representative of all engineering disciplines. The meetings uh, started with the U.S. Frontiers of Engineering meeting in 1995. Uh, since then, we've expanded to uh, bilateral programs as well with Germany, Japan, China, and the European Union. The whole purpose of the program is to have early career engineers who are highly accomplished come together to learn about engineering fields other than their own. And we believe that it is at the intersection of engineering disciplines where the most innovative things happen. So it's a very exciting meeting, it's a lot of fun, uh, getting these highly motivated early career engineers together uh, outside of their own uh, silos for a couple of days. This is a very atypical meeting compared to the professional society meetings where people meet others who work in very similar or related fields. It's really a great opportunity to expand one's own view of what engineering is and uh, what comprises engineering today. We have currently over 5,000 individuals who have participated in the program in some form or other. And that includes our international meetings as well. One other uh, important critical milestone was reached uh, in 2022 uh, when the Granger Foundation gave us a $10 million endowment they have been wonderful supporters of the program over the years, even before that, and, uh, but this endowment will allow us to uh, maintain the program at its current level, at least. These contacts that they've made often are active for years and years. I mean, we have people who attended meetings 20 years ago and are still in touch with other alumni they met at the meeting. The goal is to provide an opportunity for early career engineers to build a network of future engineering leaders. So these are all highly accomplished early career engineers who attend, it's by invitation only. And not only do they learn what's happening in other fields, but they build a network, uh, which we feel is very important for the future of engineering innovation in this country.